My name is Preston King. I'm the Compliance and Public Information Officer for Clinch Memorial Hospital in Homerville. I come to you today to talk to you about the coronavirus and our hospital's preparations to help keep you and our patients safe. First of all, let me say there are no suspected or confirmed cases of COVID-19 in our facility or in Clinch County in general. However, we must, as a hospital, protect our most vulnerable population patients who have already been determined to be sick enough to be admitted to our hospital. Starting today, we are restricting patient visitors in an effort to reduce the possibility of infection and are following the recommended CDC guidelines for both our healthcare workers and patients. Our community providers, your doctors, PAs, nurse practitioners are banding together in an effort to offer consistent practice in the screening, testing, and care of those patients who are suspected of possible infection with the coronavirus. In an attempt to avoid panic and confusion, Clinch Memorial will continue to update you as we move through this situation. Keeping you, our community, informed is a top priority for Clinch Memorial Hospital at this time. If you have further uh, need for any or questions, please contact me, Preston King, at Clinch Memorial Hospital. Thank you. Uh, my name is Angela Ammons, and I'm here today with two of our providers from the community, and we wanted to come together to try to answer any of your questions and just to give you some information regarding the coronavirus and the COVID-19. So we're going to have some questions, and um, hopefully we will answer um, some of the hot topics of discussion for you and to put some fears at rest. What is COVID-19? All right, guys. So COVID-19 is a new, technically new virus that has been infecting people around the world. Um, and it really originated from Wuhan, China, and uh, we, uh, we now see it pretty much the globe. Um, we've seen many cases now in the United States and the first thing I really want to stress is to not try not to panic about it, okay? It's a, it's a viral infection very similar to the flu um, in presentation, but it, it is affecting people in a different way. What are COVID-19 symptoms? As um, Dr. Ankor has already said, the disease presents with symptoms like the flu. After being exposed to the virus, the patient typically will develop a cough, may have a fever, and then it may or may not progress to shortness of breath. What is the first step to take if I suspect I have COVID-19? Oh, Angela. Angela, I think that's yours. Um, well, first of all, we are encouraging everybody to tell everybody, don't panic, be smart. What we want to do is to continue to um, use good hand hygiene, and we don't want to flood our doctor's offices and our ERs um, with unneeded visits. We are encouraging you to call first. Call your provider, call Nancy, Dr. Simonis, Dr. Sam, Dr. Ancor. And if you don't have a provider, call whichever one that you can get into. Tell them you have symptoms that you want to discuss it with someone, and they will direct you to our hospital where we are now providing um, the COVID-19 testing. Okay, so please leave the ER uh, for people who really need emergent services and um, just participate with your provider and call first. Should I stop going out in public? Now that is a very good question. And it goes into answering that we should not panic with the coronavirus. As we've already said, there are things that every person can do to prevent the spread of disease. Hand washing is extremely important. Not touching your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth is extremely important. Moving out in public, there are some measures that we can take so that we don't get exposed to the virus. Experts call it social distancing. If you see someone who is sick, coughing, or sneezing, be three, three to six feet away from them. You may not want to touch surfaces that are commonly touched by people. Doorknobs, handrails. Be careful um, to sanitize your hand after touching elevator buttons. Life will have to go on. It will have to be business as usual. And we will just have to do some common sense.
experience things so that we do not get infected. We have to live our lives. This hospital um, will go on as business as usual, and all of our healthcare employees and the people that have to be here, we all have lives that we have to leave. We're just being very, very careful in regards to um, being safe and washing our hands and reporting of symptoms. And what we want to assure you all is that your providers and your hospital, we are taking this seriously and we are ready. And we do not need for you all to panic. We got this covered. And this may be the conduct of our panel. Could you tell us again what can I do to prevent COVID-19? Absolutely. So the first thing, as Dr. Sam said, give us a call. The second thing is you're staying home. Going to work, you're calling your um, your employer and you're telling them, "Hey, I'm experiencing symptoms. I'm going to call the, my provider, and we'll take it from there." Now, if your provider says that you need to be tested, you present to the hospital, like Angela said, we have the we have the appropriate testing and all the appropriate measures in place for that. And in about 24 hours, we will know whether you have the COVID-19 or not. If it is positive, uh, the CDC recommends a quarantine of 14 days, so you're staying home for 14 days. Um, and where can I go for more information? The two websites that we currently recommend or endorse would be the Centers for Disease Control and the Georgia Department of Public Health. You will all be sure that you can trust the information that they will publish. We will also be updating information on the Clinch Memorial Hospital Facebook page. That is also another website that we will make sure that you can trust with information that is accurate and information that is up to date. And most of all, again, I want to reiterate, be smart, don't panic. We are working together as providers in the community. We're also reaching out to larger tertiary facilities um, to get best practice, and I want to assure you, we are right in line with what larger facilities are doing. So 